The Atari Creep YouTube channel is intended for a mature audience. Regardless of the subject matter, this video may contain strong language, simulated violence, and lots of psychological nudity. Viewer discretion is advised. What's up, Creepers and Geekers? Chris, the Atari Creep. How is everyone doing today, guys? You know what? I'm in kind of a kind of a bad mood, and I'm sure my tone will still reflect that, but that's all right. It's got nothing to do with really anything important. I tried to work on that R2 unit today, and uh, it just it, it it's it's not going to work. So I'm going to have to either just make it a custom figure or try to find some way to put uh, remote controls in it. It's got motors and stuff, so I need to just find the right servo or something to send the information using a remote control, but that's not the point. We got ourselves a little bit of a pick-me-up. Tommy announced over at the Atari Age forums that he was going to release a new trailer on the hour for the next five hours. I guess in celebration of the VIP edition, which is coming up this Tuesday. So if you weren't able to get in on the Founders Edition, uh, this is going to be the VIP edition on sale this Tuesday. So you better be signed up for that email list over at IntelligentEntertainment.com or IntelligentAmico.com. I believe either one will bring you to the same website. I figured let's 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 have a look at each one of these individually. We'll do it in one video, and um, just I guess see what we think. And I, I would do it in OBS, but this is believe it or not, right now this is easier. So <laughs> let's just watch this and see what's happening. Looks great. Looks really great. Cool. All right. Well, we'll leave it at there. Um, I'll give you my final thoughts on everything on the way out, but preliminary thoughts. It looks great. It's not my cup of tea. Um, but that doesn't mean it might not be fun. So, alrighty then. Here's number two, Shock Shock. Eat them fish. Shock. Shock was pretty smug. Shoot that crap at me. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that guy's face, he's terrified. Look at him. He's like, I'm not really here. I'm not really here. All right, so that was Shock Shock. That looks pretty cool. It looks very promising. Tommy, if you're watching, I want a t shirt with that puffer fish's face. Or at least a hat, something, a pair of underwear. I don't care. I just want something to put on my body with that puffer fish. That dude's awesome. He, he better be the next, uh, Better be the next mascot after the running man. That's awesome. Okay, let's wait another hour for the next one. All right, next is a little Astro Smash. What's the peak? Oh, okay. Here's the power. I mean, I kind of dig the backgrounds. I mean, the game itself looks fun. All right. All right, guys. Next to last, we have Cornhole. All right. All right. Pretty cool. All right, so our last one here looks like to be Farkle. Oh, okay. All right, guys, there you go. The first five games that will come on your television, Amico, before you even have to order anything, they'll come packed into the system. I think that's pretty cool. I mean, you could just literally buy the thing, bring it home, plug it in, and you got five titles. You got three classic in television reimaginings. You have a board game style game. And of course, you have that recreational one with cornhole. Everything that the Amico strives to represent. So let's talk about the five games in general. Skiing being the first one, of course. 
Um, why I have visual representation here, I don't know. Seeing as I'm missing one anyway, and we'll get to that here in a second, it's kind of pointless, but skiing looked great. Uh, I'll admit that, and I said that, it doesn't seem like my cup of tea, not my style of game. Uh, I'm sure it could be plenty fun, but it looks great. Shock Shock, oh my. I don't have Shock Shock. I would have brought Shock Shock out, but I don't have Shock Shock. I need more Shock Shark in my life. So I'll make that happen. I have the PayPal's. If you have the stuffs, I'll send you the PayPal's. You send me the stuffs. And uh, I think both of us would be quite happy, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, Shark Shark looked pretty cool. I really like that pufferfish. <laughs> I can't, Tommy, I can't let go of the pufferfish, man. That thing's going to end up on an article of my clothing, whether I do it myself. I won't make any money on it. I'm not going to try to steal your shit. But that pufferfish better be a... Better be a mascot somewhere. He might become my mascot. Instead of me with an Atari joystick, Shock Shock Pufferfish. The look on that face was fucking priceless. I loved it. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to play that game just for him. And last, I do have that one, Astro Smash. A game I grew up playing more on the Atari and Astro Blast. But I did play Astro Smash quite a bit on the Intellivision at my friend Tammy's house at her brother's bedroom. If you've been around, you know the story. That's the only Intellivision I ever got my hands on as a kid. Uh, when I was an adult, of course, I picked up my own. Um, it's the only person I ever knew that had one. And they did have that title, and I played that quite a bit, that and Pitfall. Um, Astro Smash looked great. It looked fun. The co-op experience looks pretty cool. Um, the backgrounds, they, they looked all right. I mean, you know, it is what it is. They just look like backgrounds in a video game. I'm more interested in the sounds and the gameplay, and we'll talk about that more so in a few minutes, but it looks it looks fun. It looks like a good, mindless, press the button, blow shit up, fun cornhole. <laughs> it's a fun word. All growing up, I call it the beanbag toss game. I didn't know it was, it was called cornhole until Jay and Silent Bob strike back. I mean, the joke earlier, let's go cornhole as a drunk, that's what it's from. Um, and then someone in Arizona called the game cornhole, and I thought maybe that was just a Southwest thing. No, I guess the game just called that. We always called it the beanbag toss, so. I don't know, what, what was, what, what's more appropriate? Cornhole in someone or tossing your beanbag? I don't know, but either way, it looked fun, it looked functional, and I'm sure in a family setting, which is, again, the environment this thing's trying to create, the milieu, if you will, um, I bet you that could be a good time. Last Farkle. I've never played the game Farkle. My my girlfriend says she loves Farkle and she can't wait to try it on the Amico. Um, I've never I've never played Farkle. I know nothing about the game. I know it's a dice game. It's Farkle. If you like Farkle, I'm sure you're excited about it. If you don't like Farkle, it is what it is. You have four other amazing titles. So overall, I suppose if I had three complaints, three, actually I do have three complaints. Uh, the first one is, is I thought we were going to see stuff that we hadn't seen before. And it, it, maybe there was. Maybe there was something in there like it was just extended from something we've seen in the past already. But nothing looked new. And that's not a big deal to me. But it was my impression that we were going to see something new uh, when I don't think we did. But that's okay. That's okay. Second complaint, sound. The lack of sound. And the only reason I say this is not so much to be a, a dickhead about the whole thing or a bummer, I should say. But when we did the, the Missile Command trailer, so many people, including myself, commented on the sound. That air raid siren and everything, it just added to the excitement and the anxiety of the game, the positive anxiety for the game. Um, I was hoping to hear some of the Astro Smash sounds today. Maybe some of the Shark Shark as well. I mean, skiing, <laughs> we could take it or leave it. Farkle, same way. Um... I was really hoping we would have heard some of the gameplay sounds, and I think that would have that would have helped in the long run. In the long run, uh, not necessarily converting people over, but shutting some people up. You know, I mean, you could show them all the the gold in the world, and they'll still think fucking cop is better. You know, some people are just like that. But I was a little disappointed that I didn't hear any of the actual game sounds. But if that's the worst thing that happened so far with the Amico, I can live with that for now. And third, I didn't see He-Man or Haunted House. That's it. No He-Man, no Haunted House. Get with it, Tommy. So overall, yeah, no, that was that was pretty fun. That was pretty cool. Um, it's nice to see a solid list. This is what's definitely going to happen. So you know what to expect when your machine shows up. But 
More importantly, I want to know what you think. Go ahead and leave your comments down below. Tommy, thanks for being so out there with this stuff. Uh, constantly putting it out there, saying, hey, look at what we're doing. We're proud of this and, and not hiding in the shadows or, or doing some deceitful shit. I, I felt I just had to say that because I did have some criticism here. And I don't want you to take any of my criticism the wrong way. I'm still Team Amico. I'm still super excited. Um, but I think the way you're going about this is just, it's incredible. It's just incredible. The fact that you and I talked on the phone. I talked with the, the president of a company about his product. And he answered questions I had about it. How many other companies are going to do that? Not too many. But yeah, guys, go ahead and leave your feedback. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. All feedback to the creep is positive, guys. I hope you're hanging in there. I'm starting to get a little loopy now. I don't know if you can tell. I'm starting to get a little loopy now. It's been, what, two weeks now? Two weeks? Two weeks we've been locked down? I'm kind of losing it just a little bit. But either way, guys, I hope you're doing well. I really do. And until next time, take care. Creep it real. Thanks, as always, so much for watching.